Welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. I'm Paul Seven Lewis, this is Salisbury Playhouse, and I'm here to see Lorca's Blood Wedding, retold by Barney Norris. It's an absorbing story of an ill-matched bride and groom whose tragic fate is sealed when another man stirs the bride's heart. The characters are well drawn and the dialogue feels real and that's partly because it is so strongly rooted in Wiltshire. What works particularly well in Alice Hamilton's production is the feeling that these characters are trapped, they're limited by poverty, none has moved far over the years and yet they're all slightly displaced from their origins. And this combination of roots and disconnection is a powerful parable for our time. They're even trapped in an unchanging set, a beautifully constructed exterior of a once proud community hall, now dilapidated. Well, that's my one minute review, but keep watching for more about Lorca's Blood Wedding. Barney Norris has had the idea of taking the themes from Lorca's Blood Wedding, the classic Spanish play from 1932, and relocating them in his home county of Wiltshire. In doing so, He's diminished the original's blood feud and Mediterranean passions to an everyday tale of laddish drunkenness and English reticence, in which sorry is the most used word in the play. In that respect, it feels very much like Lorca Light. Which is not to say it's not a good play. The story of Lorca's blood wedding is universal. As in the original, we have a bride and groom. Uh, George is about to marry Rob, for whom the title Lad might have been invented. He's a few years younger than her, but seems like a different generation, such as his childishness. He's infatuated with her. She just wants to get married. George and Rob are played by very promising young actors. Reese Evans' goofy expressions, loud jokes, and wide-eyed innocence were perfect. And Lily Nickel conveyed George's discomfort with the situation as if it were a physical burden. When she meets her old flame Lee, whom she previously rejected because he's an Irish traveller, her feeling that real love is missing from her current relationship is crystallised. Both feel, as he says, there must be more to life. After the interval, it's time for the wedding reception and the inevitable catastrophe. Lee too has a loveless marriage with George's old school friend Danny, now the mother of Lee's child and pregnant again. I was touched by the moment when Danny, having asked Lee whether he loves her, says, if you did, I wouldn't be talking now. Tensions mount until the situation explodes, but in keeping with the original, the blood of the blood wedding flows off stage. And although at this point, the use of a kind of one-man Greek chorus high up is dramatic, I found it too histrionic for this tale of ordinary people. I would have preferred the description of what has happened and the explanation of its significance to have been contained and conveyed within natural conversation. In other words, show rather than tell. Sitting uh, in Salisbury, uh, watching a play that is inseparable from Wiltshire, uh, adds to that feeling of being trapped that I mentioned earlier. The set, designed by James Perkins, is crowned by a huge moon, another Lorca reference, that underlines the feeling that there are great forces that control the fate of mere humans. And I haven't said, there are a lot of laughs in this play. Oh, I must mention the rest of the cast. Jeff Rawl plays the hall's caretaker, Brian, with a white beard and a benign smile that give him a Father Christmas look as he dispenses sage advice. A perfect choice for the part. Theresa Bannum is totally believable as Rob's edgy, sensitive mother. Emmett Byrne is convincing as the traveller desperate to be free. And the confusion and desperation Eleanor Henderson brings to the role of Lee's wife, Danny, is moving. I give Lorca's Blood Wedding, uh, retold by Barney Norris, three stars. I'd be interested to know what you think of uh, Lorca's Blood Wedding in this adaptation by Barney Norris, uh, so please do comment uh, either on the play or on my review. And if you want to see more of my reviews, please subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel, One Minute Theatre Reviews, on YouTube. And if you want to read the reviews, visit my website, 
one minute theatre reviews.co.uk. Thank you for watching.